Welcome back to the free online Indestructible Success Small Business course. I'm Seth Braun. In the last video, you learned about research and asking your ideal customer questions in a survey. Today, you're going to build on this. The next step is to do the opposite of what you've been asked to do in the first dozen videos. Now that might seem odd, but we need to do this because we need to understand your customer and your client. You want to be able to experience their perspective in their mind so that your marketing is relevant to their needs. This means letting go of your thinking, feelings, concepts, and beliefs about your business and more specifically about your marketing and your promotions. You need to understand your client and your customer's perspective. Building on this, try on the mind and the perspective of your client right now. Imagine how they would see you and your business. By the way, I use the word client most often because even if you're selling a product, your customer is still a client. And thinking of a customer as a client helps you take responsibility for providing a great experience. Now in terms of marketing, you need to be your client. You need to understand where they're coming from when they're looking at buying your products and services. What is their pain? What are their problems? How do they feel? What are their frustrations? Now, not only will this inform your marketing, but it may even transform your service. Think about how you will market your business over the next 12 months. What is your ideal client going to be doing over the next 12 months? How do they want to see your website? How do they want to see your cards, your brochures, your emails, your newsletter? How can you honor your unique gifts, talents, and capacities by framing them in a way that your ideal client will be most receptive to. Take time today to actively imagine your ideal client's needs, their hurts, their pains, their frustrations, their wants, and the solutions they're looking for. How can you most effectively communicate those solutions through your marketing so that what you offer is interesting to your client. Then keep these notes near your notes from the goals exercise, the vision, the hedgehog concept, the value proposition, and the survey responses. I am a huge fan of creating amazing products and services so that the marketing and sales of your brand happens as a result of word of mouth and raving fans. So make sure that your product and your service is great and then take time to think like your ideal client especially when you or your team is writing sales copy, creating promotional material, websites, emails, business cards, if you're going to a trade show, if you're doing public speaking, or if you're doing videos like this one. In our next video, number 16, you're going to learn about the value of transparency in business.